Welcome to the Journals of the Classes. In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Hey, sorcerer. Sorcerers are fun. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> most magic users are where it's at because, you know, they can conjure stuff. Like, they yeah. can just be like, oh, you thirsty? Here's some wine. Right. <laughs> but you gotta have the spell. Hey. And the components. All right. Blessed or cursed, like some of these shows, uh, with inherent <laughs> yeah. magic, <laughs> sorcerers are powerful and unpredictable. They carry wild magic boiling in their veins and the means to save or destroy whole worlds. This is Wanda's category, people. I was going to go Oppenheimer. Wanda. The destroyer of worlds. Wanda vision. Wanda vision. <laughs> Our first subclass of the day is Aberrant Mind. Violated by an entity from the outer plane. Good, good that is God. Not good. Oh, my. Okay, that's. Okay, um, <clears throat> for an empty from the outer, okay, um, the insanity of that alien realm has seeped into their minds and given them the power to influence the minds of others in unexpected and terrifying ways. This is Max Lord in Wonder Woman 84. <laughs> it's like, well, I mean, it's not an alien, but he does get, like, powers from, like, a thing, and it basically lets him be able to talk anybody into <laughs> anything and they wish stuff and he gets more powerful. <laughs> He's just a bargain basement genie, really. <sighs> I Oh, I get Clockwork Soul. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The cosmic forces of order flow through these sorcerers so that they are part of a vast system of clockwork efficiency. Resistance. Your culture will adapt to serve us ours. Your knowledge shall be... I don't remember the whole speech. Oh, no. I feel, I feel, I feel like I've been... You gotta give your Trek card back. God, I know. I've been... God, I've been compromised as a, as a Trekkie or Trekker or what, what, whatever we're calling ourselves now. Hey, at least <laughs> you didn't go with Clockwork Orange. <laughs> what? God, no. Let's God, move on. God, no. Yeah, no, nope, let's move <laughs> on. You said Clockwork Orange. We need to go. We need to go. Divine soul. Aspects or children of the divine, these sorcerers' magic comes from the gods themselves. I hear, um, I hear Camp Half looks nice this time of year. I just thought, thought they might like to know, you know. Alright, <laughs> Draconic Bloodline. Ooh. These sorcerers' innate magic comes from deep in their lineage when an ancestor entered a pact with a dragon. A pact. A pact. Get your minds out of the gutter. It's not anything else. It's a no, pact. Well, I mean, hold on. Like, bards. Yeah. I'm just saying bards. That's all I'm saying. So they, there's a draconic bard, and that's well, what no, they enter a no, pact no, into? No, no, no. I'm saying bards exist. So it could also be the other thing. Well, that's true. I mean, I'm I mean, just saying that, I, you know, I'm hoping that these dragons don't take advantage of these people. I don't know if it's the dragons taking advantage. Well, the dragons are apex predators. But also bards. Well, that's true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dragonborn are often this type of sorcerer, but any race can have the blood of the dragon flowing in their veins. Do you mind? Go for it. I don't know what that means, but okay. We'll get there. Is it Skyrim? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh. Lunar sorcery. Hmm. The power of the moon, or moons, has blessed these sorcerers with lunar powers. And the ability to divine events by the changing of the phases. Kanchu, where you at? Kanchu, where you at? Kanchu. Kanchu. We're looking for you. We're looking for you and your bird head. Shadow magic. I can only think of Melisandre now. Well, all I, I was thinking that these are, like, the things, like, when you make, like, you know, how you do the shadow figures. Oh, like, you just look shadow puppets. Yeah, yeah like, this. ooh, this is, uh, this is, uh, magic. I don't know. I don't know how to it's do just it. Like, it's just, like, Clearly, a Clearly, I haven't mastered shadow magic yet. Okay. Touched by darkness, 
the shadow sorcerer exists in a limbo between life and death. There's, there's always it one is. of these. It's not like, I mean, where are the missions that it's just like, hey, I just need you to go to the store and get some stuff. I mean, like, that could be a it's mission. Like, hey, we're trapped in the portal land between life and death. Yeah. So can you grab some cheese? I mean, <laughs> what? All right. Uh, able to enter. Okay, so touched by darkness, the shadow sorcerer exists in a limbo between life and death. Able to enter the borderlands and even summon creatures from the afterlife to briefly empower their magic. So it's that brief. It's seems not like wrong a, somehow. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like. Hmm. You know what I have to say to that? I ain't afraid of no ghost. Storm sorcery. You, you got a lot of the storm ones. <laughs> I did. Is there something you want to tell me? Is it okay? I do. Are you feeling a little stormy? I feel, a, I feel very, I mean, you know, it's just... It's, Is it a rager? I have had a lot of static electricity recently. Mm. The power of the tempest rages through this mage and allows them to call upon the storms and lightning to smite their foes and clear the way for ships at sea. Okay, who, who pissed off Poseidon? Percy! Percy! <laughs> oh, he's gone. Wild magic. Exposed to raw magic, these sorcerers are unpredictable and as chaotic as the magic that constantly threatens to consume them. They also love hexagons and androids. Hmm. Their turnoffs are people who tell them what to do. And, and infinity stones. Infinity no, that's not. They love Infinity them. stones getting ripped out of their loved ones. Of, right. Yeah. I mean that's like probably that anybody's. Mm -hmm. yes. And the ship of Theseus. So <laughs> y'all, we're done with sorcerer. <laughs> you're done with sorcerer. I have been Shadu. You really just want to end it like, oh, we're done! I, I mean, there's... Sorcerers are cool. They have... I mean, they're kind of like rich kids, though. They, they were born into the magic. I mean, you know, it's just... Oh, so they're entitled. Entitled. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so they're born. So it's like a lineage thing? Yeah, it's like a lineage thing. You know? hmm. It's like a genetic... Yeah. Genetic disposition. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm in Shadu! See you later, folks! I'm in Frey! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>